is my guess is there probably will be at some point. Um, I'm, not, I'm not predicting that we're about to enter dark ages, but that there's some probability that we will, particularly if there's a third world war. Then we want to make sure that there's enough of a, of a seed of human civilization somewhere else uh, to bring civilization back. Um, and perhaps uh, shorten the length of the Dark Ages. Um, you know, I think that's why it's, imp that it's important to get a self-sustaining base, um, ideally on Mars, because Mars is far enough away from Earth that a, that um, a war on Earth, the Mars base might survive. It's more likely to survive than a moon base. But I think a moon base and a Mars base, um, that, um, that could perhaps help regenerate life back here on Earth would be really important and to get that done before a possible World War III. Um, you know, last, last century we had two massive world wars, three if you count the Cold War. I think it's unlikely that we will never have another world war again. Um, there probably will be at some point. Or if we have another one, it'll be the last. Yeah, it, it, it just could be radioactive rubble, you know, um, an AI. And it scares the hell out of me. Um, is capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows. And the rate of improvement is exponential. Um, you can see this in things like AlphaGo, which went from, in the span of maybe six to nine months, it went from being unable to beat even a reasonably good Go player, to then beating the European world champion who was ranked 600, then beating Lisa Dahl, 4-5, um, who had been world champion for many years, then beating the current world champion, then beating everyone while playing simultaneously. Then, uh, then there was Alpha Zero, uh, which crushed Alpha Go, 100 to zero. And Alpha Zero just learned by playing itself, and it, it can play basically any game that you put the rules in for. If you, whatever rules you give it, you can literally read the rules, play the game, and be superhuman. Best military movie that's the most accurate, or the, mo the least offensive, Navy SEALs starring Charlie Sheen fives and handlebar mustaches you know this sniper's calling himself god i can't see anything i'm switching to starlight blasting people through a concrete wall they're doing free fall jumps they're in submarines like that's an entire 30 year career to do all that shit in 60 minutes <laughs> like, you take that expectation you come to the teams you're like god, i'm kind of bored right now back here on earth would be really important and uh, to get that done before a possible world war But it's like if, if you if you know that there's a there's likely to be we don't know but there's likely to be another dark ages which it seems my guess is there probably will be at some point um, I'm not I'm not predicting that we're about to enter the dark ages but that there's some probability that we will particularly if there's a third world war um, then we want to make sure that there's enough of a of a seed of human civilization somewhere else uh, to bring civilization back um, and perhaps uh, shorten the length of the Dark Ages. Um, you know, I think that's why it's, imp that it's important to get a self-sustaining base, um, ideally on Mars. Can Alexa, what is a campfire? Chemtrail. Chemtrail. Are actually chemical or biological agents deliberately sprayed at high altitudes for a purpose undisclosed to the general public in clandestine programs directed by government officials. Alexa, what is a chemtrail? Chemtrail. Trails left by aircraft are actually chemical or biological agents deliberately sprayed at high altitudes for a purpose undisclosed to the general public in clandestine programs directed by government officials. Alexa, what is a chemtrail? Chemtrail. 
Trails left by aircraft are actually chemical or biological agents deliberately sprayed at high altitudes for a purpose undisclosed to the general public in clandestine programs directed by government officials. Um, then we want to make sure that there's enough of a, of a seed of human civilization somewhere else uh, to bring civilization back um, and perhaps uh, shorten the length of the Dark Ages. Um, you know, I think that's why it's important to get a self-sustaining base, um, ideally on Mars, because Mars is far enough away from Earth that a, that um, a war on Earth, the Mars base might survive. It's more likely to survive than a moon base. But I think a moon base and a Mars base um, that, um, that could perhaps help regenerate life back here on Earth would be really important and it 